Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm gonna paint a cute little bumblebee painting on a five inch by five inch cradled wood panel from US Art Supply. I've got clear gesso on it. I'm thinking one bee and some cute pink little flowers. Let's have some fun. Okay, let's set the table. I'm using bright aqua green. All my paints are Liquitex. Prism Violet. Cad Yellow Medium Hue, Titanium White, Mars Black, and I'm gonna add some Quinacridone Magenta. I'm gonna have pink flowers. I need to mention this more because I'm, I'm starting to get more comments. This background took me Oh, I, this is the next day. I think it took me an hour and a half because I, I put the white on, I swirl it, I dry it with a hair dryer. Uh, when you mix purple and this bright aqua green, you get a pretty blue color. Um, I mixed some greens. It makes a pretty green too. So a lot of yellow and the bright aqua green makes these greens. A little black mutes it down. I'm gonna put some green over these purples too. Um, part of it is I'm playing with making sure I have good paint coverage. I'm playing like the little swirls. You know, I just don't get that in one brush stroke, one layer. It takes another layer of coming back with a little bit lighter value. Or a little darker, like I came back with the blue. And I'm not a fast painter. I'm not. So that might not be everybody's thing. I get that. But I think maybe if I mention it, that might help people who do who are newer and pop into my videos. The other thing I'm doing, I'm, uh, if you don't know, I'm a full-time artist. I sell in galleries. I license my art through an agent to manufacturers. Um, what else do I do? Well, I'm here on YouTube. I sell prints and I have merch. <laughs> that sounds like a lot. So I'm, I'm painting, I've got a show in July I'm getting ready for. So I think I'm gonna paint daisies and a bee on this one and I'm gonna paint a couple ornaments. So this is the one I'm videoing, but I'm also being a little bit more efficient. And so then that, that adds some time, but not to the video, not to this particular painting. But just something to think about, like if you're painting to sell, kind of do things in groups. Or like I could do three or four, or however many of just this, this one ornament looking this way. I mix it up because the galleries like them to look a little bit different. Okay, I drew an indication of my bee. I'm, I'm thinking a bee kind of zooming across. So I drew kind of a um, peanut shape, bean shape with a general's charcoal pencil, white charcoal pencil. Oh, the words are all rubbing off. Um, I also use chalk pastel. That works too, pencils. Here, I'll grab, since I mentioned it. I just have a small set of these. I really like them, really fun. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. I'm gonna paint some greens and I'm gonna have pink flowers. I don't know if you saw me, but I was like, okay, flowers are gonna kind of go here. So I get my B, plus I want, I want my B. I don't want it too high and I don't want it too low. So I was just trying to estimate. I, I might have a taller flower sort of keeping you in the painting since this B is gonna be zooming across. Okay guys, I hope some of those comments help. I'll be back in a bit.
hey friends, I'm calling it done. So this took me three hours. Sorry guys, I always think I'm fine and then when I start talking I realize my throat's dry. Let's see. There's a, the purple doesn't show nearly as much because I kept putting um, thin grasses over it, but I like that it peeks through. And it also starts looking darker as the lighter greens are on top of it. I started out using this flat brush from Royal and Lingnickel. It's a number 12 from their Zen line. It's a really nice brush, but it's here. Let me do that. It's thicker. And I wanted to really be able to swipe. I couldn't get it to hold a thinner. Sometimes you can. But I couldn't get it to hold a thinner edge. So I grabbed this Simply Simmons uh, quarter inch. I think it's a dagger brush maybe. It's more than an angle brush. Oh, I don't have an angle brush sitting here. But it, it's thinner. I don't know if you can see that. And I was able to get really nice swipes. I really liked it. I um, use straight up quinacridone. It's transparent. It's semi-transparent. And then when you use it thin, it's quite transparent. I know that because that box is half full. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I took a drink. <laughs> so I put put most I put a lot of those on. And I I aim them kind of down like that and then back up. Kind of down like that. And then I took uh, some quinacridone, a little bit of this really light pink I mixed and made a medium pink and put fewer of those on, overlapping. And then I took some of the lightest pink and, and just kind of topped and dabbed. This is sort of a white, really thin white, light aqua color. Oh, underneath the wings, I put some thin brown. I haven't done that in a while, but I like that. I gotta remember to do that. And then I swiped all oh, the brushes I'm using. So I showed you the dagger. We'll call it a dagger. I used a well-loved quarter-inch flat brush from Royal and Langnickel. The gripper's yellow, all the words are rubbed off. And I used a number four round from Princeton. So the wings, I put some brown under it, let that dry, and then put some thin white over it. I think that makes a nice looking wing. What else? I like the little white dots. Oh. I painted, I mixed a little orange with quinacridone, and more, a lot more yellow than quinacridone. I just got paint in my, my brush. And then I put a little white in it so it'd cover better for the shadow side on the bee. And then I came back later on after that was dry and put some straight up orange over it. Let's do a screenshot. You guys might like that. This was really fun and relaxing. I have um, a couple bee traceables, some other bee videos. I'll link a couple of them in this video's description. I really like how it turned out. It's really happy, fun, easy. Easy to just do little square flowers. And I just, you know, they're messy. I didn't worry too much about, about how they turned out. Super, super appreciate your support. I, it, and it's so fun to connect with you. It means the world to me. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.